guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ola Dam Lala Kremi, and this guys, this is Dami Talks. If you are just tuning in, if you're a first time here, please. Um, this is Dami Talks, and I am Ola Dam Lala Kremi. And if you're like, we know ourselves, welcome back. And um, this guys, this is my 2020 rundown. And in this episode, I'm going to split it into three parts, and um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it now. 2020 has been a really 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 challenging year you see the really really was plenty it has been a, a challenging year for everybody all and sundry in and outside nigeria and if you are alive to witness this moment if you are alive to see this december and by god's grace you see 2021 2021 god has given us such a good gift for the year already this is our santa gift so this is my 2020 rundown that comprises of everything I'm going to that happened in the entertainment industry in the year 2020. I'll be talking about marriage, I'll be talking about influencers, I'll be talking about music release, I'll be talking about movies and like really juicy stuff that happened in Nigeria all together. So please stay plugged, make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. This is Dami Talks and please you can turn on the notification bell, that's the bell besides the subscription button and so you can get the latest updates on all my um, content release on this channel now let's get started now um, I'll be picking on marriage first now marriage this year 2020 like so many people got married it's like that is just their plan to get married this year and I'm glad everyone that got married got married those that got engaged got engaged and if you are somebody that did not get married you did not get engaged to you never even attend any wedding party ah. I don't know what I'll say to that one, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but 2020, despite all the odds, it has been an amazing year. All round amazing. Now, I'll be, number one person I'll be talking about that got married is Williams Uchemba and Brunella Oscar. Williams won the Oscar. Hashtag. So, guys, um, Williams Uchemba is a Nigerian actor and comedian. He got married in November. November 15, he had his engaged his traditional marriage, his engagement in Anambra, his wife's state, Brunella, and it was amazing. In um, on the 21st of November 2020, they had the cut, no, not cut wedding, the church wedding, the gown wearing wedding. And when this whole thing started with Williams and Brunella, not their love story, or like. When he put it out there that they were getting married, everyone was super excited and happy for Williams, especially on Instagram. Like so many people were like, congratulations, 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 congratulations. Because he posted this um, video mix of him and his wife now, then girlfriend or fiance, how they were together. You know this would make you making love hungry, you like you want to, you want to get married. This is an abuse. Okay. They had their engagement wedding in Anambra State. It was amazing. They are important guests. Guests that me I saw. Not like everybody is not important because it was attended by family members and friends. And when I say friends, I mean the likes of A White Comedian, Banky W, Files the Bad Guy, Peter, a busy rude boy, one of them, Sha. And um, Lassie Ellen was there. Um, Timmy Dakolo and his wife were there. This guy that got his girls pregnant, Pretty Mike of Lagos, and his girls, his pregnant baby mamas, they to the lineup and they went to the party. <laughs> it was interesting watching them dance and everything. One thing that got me was how um, what William said. He said he took to Instagram and he said that since the wedding preparation and the old wedding thing. That his friends told him that he doesn't look like someone that's been spending money like that's let you know the asset at which this money is plenty rich like can go tell you money no the lagos money no the lagos there is money in lagos don't let anybody deceive you there is money where money is i will not say more than that so that is this for williams and brunella who chamber now no more oscar because he won the Oscar already. He took the Oscar home. And congratulations to you guys. Have a happy married life with plenty of children. Now, the second wedding I'll be talking about is not just for one person. It happened in Abuja and it has to do with Timidakolo. So sometime in, was it December or November? 
I think it was November, right about the time Williams was getting married or after. Some people got married in Abuja, like eight people, and Timmy Dakolo crashed their party. When I say crashed their party, it's not like he broke the room or the bride's head. I mean, he stole the bridal. He went there to perform for them free of charge, guys. No charges. He just went there to perform. He went there to sing for them. And it was amazing. When I saw the first video of him crashing someone's wedding party, I'm like, oh, it's so sweet, so adorable. Then I saw the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight crash. I'm like, Claude, Claude, Uncle, you're too generous. Timmy Dakolo, accolades to you, big ups to you. Like, who does that? Free performance. He put it on Instagram that if you're getting married in Abuja, just let me know so that I can come on. I'm paraphrasing. This is not his exact words. And they went there, he did his thing, he made these people's day, he made them laugh, he made them smile, and that's like the best part for me. Like for him to be able to do that, you know. Huh. Well done, sir. Another wedding I'll be talking about, guys, is Olaslin's wedding. Olaslin did really well this year and she got married to her husband. And when she she had a civil wedding in September, I think September 4, and when the pictures came out, people were like, why will Lola sew this type of clothes? Why is she looking like this? Why is she like that? Why did she sew these clothes? I expect more from Ola. I'm like, yeah, it's just civil wedding. I won't come to you, King just fancy lost civil wedding once. And then she made it look really amazing, guys. If you see, go check her out on IG. You're definitely gonna see what I'm talking about. Ola Slim stole the show. I let him proper was this December, I think December 12th, and it was amazing. Now, for the December 12th party, guys, the wedding party, I saw her in a particular gown. It was so simple for me. I'm like, okay, I like it, but it's just too simple. It's not the kind of gown I expect her to say she wants to wear on her wedding day. And I was like, ah, well, that's it, fuck up. Until I saw the gown go, go. Guys, this girl is, 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 is. I don't know what's filming me right now. Like, mama was looking like a princess. She was looking like a queen that she is. And it was so beautiful. She looked so nice. And her husband was looking dashing. Like, these people just stole the show this December. The next person I'll be talking about is Nini and Tolu. So, Nini is also an Instagram sensation. She's also a fashion designer. And she got married to her longtime boyfriend, Tolu. Now, Nini Zone. Right about the old wedding time, after the wedding, even before the wedding, she was already putting Mrs. A. I'm like, hey, oh god. And it's one thing, Mrs. A and Obi. Mrs. A and Mr. A. I'm like, hello, day. And to be coming down for us now, I want to know I'm married. And one thing, Mrs. A. Mrs. A. Then another thing that bust my brain was when she posted this picture, old picture of her and her husband now, then boyfriend. Like, I think they were still all slim then, babe. Babe, if you see this picture, you be like, ah, Nini, now you be this? Uncle Tolu, is this you? But at the end of the day, they are married, and all I can do is wish you guys a happy married life. Big up everybody that got married this year. Let's not forget, my sister, my sister, also got married this year. She got married in March of 2020, and it was amazing. Our wedding was like one of the weddings that, the show-stopping weddings in March because the whole lockdown thing started in March in Lagos, so you guys can remember. And we were scared that the wedding will not pull through, but it happened. And all we can do is just thank God. The wedding was beautiful. My sister cried, I cried, my father cried, only my mother did not cry. But <laughs> we cried for different reasons, guys. It's not the same thing, but it was all tears of joy, and we had a swell time. So, congratulations to everybody that got married this year, 2020. You people accomplished something. To those that got engaged 2022, congratulations. To those people that started dating 2022, congratulations. To those of us that attended wedding party this 2022, congratulations to us and our Mongolian, no, Aku, no. So that's it for um wedding and let's go straight to the next influencers now nigerian have nigerians have so many influencers it's so funny how people in the entertainment industry like just the actors and actresses all the musicians are the ones all these brands um use as their ambassadors and the rest but that's not the case anymore if you're a youtuber you're also an, a brand influencer so um i'll be talking about three brand influencers that really rock my world number one and always number one is Tokema Kiwa. Now, my love for Tokema Kiwa is indescribable, it's immeasurable, it is just divine. I don't know where it came from. I started 
started following a few years back and I have not regretted it ever since. Tokia is amazing. I love the fact that she doesn't give two fucks about anybody. She just does her thing. My mom turned 35 this year, yes. And then she did a very special episode on her YouTube page where people get to ask her anything. Mama revealed so much and I'm like, ah. Hey, she really doesn't care anymore at this age because oh girl yeah now you're not feeding her now you're not giving her money you're not good now because i even bust my head everything is always busting my head but if you bust my head i will let you know was when she said that she really, she, doesn't, she really doesn't think she has any beef with anybody in nigeria the only person she thinks that that she should think cool that she has beef with maybe beyonce i'm like ah, ah. she never say rihanna she never even say Michelle Obama. She never even say, I can't even say Nigerian first lady. Nigerian Nigerian first lady. She doesn't have beef with anybody. The only person that making her feel like, okay, you have to ace your game is Beyonce. I'm like, babe, no. Respect. I love you, Dive. I love a uh, cosmetic line. I love um, luxury brands, her bags. She also um, vacationed this year. I think she went to Turkey. And my mom was just giving us hot hot. She was just posting like, she really doesn't care at all and i love that about that the fact that she doesn't care and she's just being herself like in this world just live your life don't live your life for anybody these people that i'm talking about these influencers they're all women and like they are really making raves right now they are amazing number two is tomike adelie when she comes to life she'll be like i'm tomike adelie like mama let us hear what i'm a lot adam lola kirem what happened <laughs> and the family members and what i'm like ah, this girl clothe you're too natural you're too original be coming down now and she, i like the fact that she really carries everybody along she lets you know what she wants you to know she is supportive she helps um small business owners she is She's just amazing. Tomike is just amazing. She's married, guys. For those that don't know, Tomike is married and she's just 25 years old. She is married. She's doing well for herself and I'm super proud of her. I like her friendship with Ada. And what else? What else do I like about Tomike? I just love her naturally. Like, my best friend made me start following Tomike this year. And since I've been following her, I've been like, okay, I like her vibes. I like the vibes and I'll be like, ah, Timmy, have you seen this episode? Have you seen this thing to me? I'm like, I saw it since yesterday since it came out. I'm like, I'm tell you later. Tomike, I'm your family member. I'm your sister in the Lord. <laughs> I love you so much, baby girl. Keep doing you. I ill. Also, last but not least, also one of my best, like definitely one of the best. Like this people, I can't even choose one from them. Is Kiki, Auntie Bumi. When you watch Kiki's videos, or when you just like you just it's not like something you want to watch you just stumble you stumble upon it i'll be across it i'll be into it she's just a natural i like how she starts her videos i like how she mixes english yoruba and pigeon like she just does the code mixing in a way that before you can decode what she's saying you have to really calm down be like don't run too fast and go and jam okada. Like there's a way she says it. Masare moto kolukeke. There's a way she will say it that to be like, ah. Oh, wow. Like there is brain. Like I just love her and I like her and she be like at the end of the day she's like, thanks and she's gone. I'm like, babe, this is so good. I love how she influences. I love how she says things. I love how she brings ideas to life. I love the fact I love her fashion sense. Kiki can dress like all these people that I'm talking about. They can dress. Tokyama Kiwa is a fashion goddess. Kiki is another fashion goddess on her own, and I'm like, ah, ah. hey, the man, calm down. Hey, the man needs to ruin people. Oh poor, is old, is oh bro, oh bro, poor man is plenty in the end of the owner so these are my influencers for the year 2020 if you're an influencer and you want me to talk about you next year all you have to do is ace your game be you and let us see you more because even myself i'm a small influencer of my own yeah <laughs>
so big ups everybody that I mentioned in this video you guys are amazing congratulations to those that got married and to all my influencing ladies you guys are my role models so that's it for today please make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel I'm Ulua Damlola Kremi and this guys this remains dummy talks I just wish this idea would stop sounding in my video Thank you very much. Have a lovely year and bye.